Okay, so I thought we would explore um, where to take this piece. Now, composition wise, um, I really like it, but this flower is bothering me because this is very abstract and I do like to put an element that is more realistic in, a, in an abstract piece, but I have that here and I like that a lot better. And when I covered this, I felt like the painting got better. And I also think it suffers from too many focal points. So that your eye is drawn there, my eye is drawn up here, and then it's drawn here. And so I'm going to experiment with making this flower go away. Don't know how yet, no. I've already done this in acrylic. I've done it in, uh, let's see, there's crayon on here, ink, all kinds of yummy stuff. Um, now I'm gonna add gouache. I love adding gouache on top of acrylic to give it kind of a good texture. So that's what we're gonna do here is see what happens if we make this go away. Now I'm not sure yet how I wanna make it go away, but we will see. Maybe a, or maybe even part of it go away. So that's not, it was actually just this part and then I added these other petals. I think that's when it just started to take over and, and I started to get unhappy with it. So let's see what happens. I'm just blending a little bit of green and pink. And with this kind of painting, I do kind of paint with the side of the brush sometimes like this. So let's let that dry like that. Now, then what I want to do is bring a little bit of that color over here just so that it's present somewhere else. Maybe a little bit right there. So at this stage of a painting like this, I'm looking at it, seeing what bothers me. And what bothers me right now is this. Some of the paper showing through, there's just nothing, I don't know, just, I don't, there's nothing interesting going on there. And it's not even a place for your eye to rest. Not everything has to be interesting, but it's not even a restful place either. So now I don't know what color I want to bring into it though. I do tend to use a lot of this. I, can't, I think I want to make it more of a restful place. So that's one decision made. Great thing about painting is you can go back and forth. You can make something restful and quiet, or you and then if you decide it's too much so, you can go back and liven it up and vice versa. I've really been learning how to just be loose, more loose, and um, thinking about what I like in the composition. So I already like that better. This also is no bueno. <laughs> right here, but I'm not going to do the same thing to it. Um, let's see, what can we do to it? Maybe some of this warm yellow. I was mixing this sort of Indian yellow with white. Let's see what that looks like. And I can always come back. I'm going to leave a little bit of that red. I can always come back on top of this and probably will and do something else. We'll see. We'll see if that stays. Bring a little bit of that here. So these are really flower gardens is what I'm thinking of. And when I look out at my garden, it's patches of, um, you know, I might have some lavender over here and over here might be my hummingbird bush. So there's a lot of red and pink, but it's not. Um, so there are groupings of things, maybe not as many in this one as usual. And then there's just shapes and colors that I love. The beauty of this gouache is that, um, well, of course I can paint over it, but I can also just take a paper towel and remove it. If I've used a fixative, uh, a spray that holds down my other things, then it's really easy to do. Okay. Something feels a little bit too white about this, so I'm just gonna take literally what's on my brush and tone it down just a little. That's enough. Um, all right, so now I think I'm at the stage, well, some of this has to dry, and then I can start to do some little details. I do like, I do some of my details with paint, um, and then I do some with the uh, marker and pencil, uh, Posca pens I like to use. So before I do that, though, let me do some little lines here. Sometimes these are like an edge of a bed. They're just visual interest. Um, I know there's plenty of visual interest in this piece, but I still, I like art that 
gives you a lot to look at that you you start looking at it and you have to keep exploring it and just see what else is there, what else you might have missed. So I'm just looking for places where I, I want to make the color a little bit more blended or pronounced, maybe brighter, because there's so much texture in this that some of the color can get lost. Like down here, some of this pink is just too lost, so I'm going to come in there a little bit. Make it a little bit more pronounced. Not in all of them, but in some of them. Love that color. So then I might come over here and let's see. I feel like I want some of this over here. I liked it better the way it was before. So I just took a I just wet my brush and that'll blend in fine. I'm gonna come back here with another coat of this because it didn't quite cover up that acrylic. Which is okay. So it's it still took it away from being the focal point, and that's what I was trying to do. Well, I shouldn't have put such bright red because that brings it back into the focal point. So put a little more white, tone it down. I I mix paints a lot right on the painting. You get that great color when you when you mix things. All right, so we're gonna let that dry, and we'll come back and do some details.